Poland Talks. Today we are going to meet someone very special, a strong personality. He is the CEO of Vico Travel Business. He's one of the finest Indian entrepreneur in Poland. He is also the president of Indo-Polish Chamber of Commerce and Industry. and smartness has worked like magic to win a lot of heart in Poland. Today we're going to meet none other than Mr. JJ Singh, a successful Indian in Poland. Sir, you have beautiful office. I was really mesmerized. Well, thank you very much for the compliment and it's good to have you here with us. Sir, it's my honor, my pleasure that I got an opportunity and our audience are getting an opportunity to meet you personally. What else we can ask today? Good afternoon and hi to everybody. And it's, uh, you know, thank you for coming and uh, asking the old fox some new questions. <laughs> As uh, everyone knows, you're from Punjab. Which year did you come from India to Poland? Well, I migrated uh, back in 1989, so it's been like prehistoric times gone. <laughs> so, yes, I mean, when things were changing in Poland, when actually the communism fell and the new things were coming in place, I was, I can say I was at the right time at the right place. How was your journey, like from India to Poland? What changes did you find, like uh, culturally, politically? You know, first of all, it was never my uh, dream to stay abroad. I was working for an airline uh, in India, uh, there I started my career. And uh, then, of course, I met my wife who was working with me. And uh, we got married in India. And uh, then she, of course, thought that she would like to migrate back. Uh, so I had to come with her because I gave her my birth to my wife. Uh, but it was a big challenge for sure, you know. I mean, I'd been abroad earlier working for the airlines, but going for a brief moment and then coming over and staying for good, uh, you know, things were different because what you see on the youngsters who are staying in Poland right now from India, what they see right now, it was entirely different. Uh, the shops were empty, uh, the place was almost gray, uh, you know, it was not so vibrant as Warsaw or Poland in general is today. So it was a hard task, uh, but then, you know, I mean, when you are young, uh, you are bound to take challenges and to see okay, how the things will come. Are you married to an Indian girl? Or? No, I'm married to a, a, a Polish and I've got uh, two daughters oh, and a sister. Yeah. So, you know. So that was the only reason you thought of coming from India to Poland because back then Poland was not a very famous destination. No, it was not. Because when I told my friends also, they were like saying, you're out of your mind. You know, it's a, it's a communist country and you're going there. And I can simply say, yes, it was my wife uh, who started this adventure and I am still living it. When you came from India to Poland, so what changed? I'm sure language would be a big barrier. No, language is a big barrier. Food was a big barrier. And there was no shops as today you have here, you can buy the food and everything. Uh, so I had to change my diet also, you know, for the, for the local diet, which was so. It was a lot of uh, small, small things, you know, just to give you the example. We Indians are habitual of drinking water. Yeah. So at that time, there was no still water in the shops or anywhere. It was only carbonated water. And if you want to drink the water, the still one, you have to take the tap water, which was not healthy. So, you know, those things, when you remember now, you know, it was like, it seems like fun. But at that time, when you come, you know, new, the things are different. So it's a challenge. It was challenging. But I think, you know, uh, again, I'll come back to this. When you are young, you are having something, you have to make your you know, mark your career in a country, uh, you know, you will need those things. And you say, okay, that's one of the challenges. You have to fight it, overcome it. 
it's also like this, you know, you become habitual to the things, you know. So if you are not open to adapt, you will be struggling after 30 years old. Aap sabko ya jad ifas nahi hoga, us time mein doodh bhi polar ke andar itni asani se nahi milta tha. To mera sabse pehla apne aap se yehi tha, kehna ki is desh mein chai bhi mere ko kaandi peeni padegi. Kyunki abhi doodh nahi hai. Back then, there was no milk. It was available, but it was more milk ration. So it was not like, it was on the some kind of a coupon, something like that. But we were asked, should you go to the store? It's okay. Now we're in the same way, we're going to see what we're going to do. I've been out to Mumbai and I have stayed uh, in Delhi. Yeah. So I know how a Punjabi culture is. <laughs> so people say Punjabis are linked to food. And uh, what I heard, correct me if I'm wrong, that Punjabi has two big points. Uh, Stress points, I would say. Wasn't kaise ghatta na aur aati khane mein kya banana? Bilkul thik bol rahe hain. Let us say, one thing aur hoti hai Punjabiyon mein. Wo subah mein jab bolte hain ki kal shaam ko bahut zyada ho gayi. Aaj shaam ko kuch nahi karunga, lekin shaam ko wohi karna. So, ye baat sach hai. That's true. Yes, of course. I start with it. I say okay. So, to ab bhi na Punjabi, apne to bahut sare parade pehle hoge. I would say, I'm born. Oh, yeah. Abhi bhi bhi bhi. Is Paratha your favorite? Oh, Paratha is my favorite. Uh, you know, I am uh, actually blessed because uh, in my family also, my wife knows how to make it. But I think the best Parathas uh, which I can uh, make a kind of a campaign here are in Gurdwara. Because the Parathas celebrating Gurdwara yeah. are out of this world. So, yes, of course. As you are the CEO of Vico Travels, so, how was your journey to start Vico Travel in Poland? Interesting question. You know, I was uh, working for a Polish company actually uh, as a director in the office because remember, it, back in 89, there were very few people who were speaking English. Mm-hmm. And one of the first private investments came in from the Polish side. They were looking for a foreigner who can give the exposure, you know, for the foreign markets, contracts and everything. So, I was working for a Polish company, but then in the span of two years, I was approached uh, by the Danish company, oh. uh, since the things were changing in Poland, uh, effective 89. So they were looking to open uh, the office in Poland. Uh, they could travel, it's a Danish company, it's a it's a family-owned company. Uh, so they proposed me a partnership. So I start, started the office in Poland, I can say from scratch, because we were four people in the beginning, back in 1992. Oh. So last year we finished our 30 years, and today we are around a little shy of 250 people all over Central Europe because we have the offices in the four countries. That's a big achievement. That's a... Well, you know, when you look back, yes, you feel proud. They could travel. We are actually specialized everything related to tour travel. You name it, it's a, it's a air travel, it's a train travel, bus travel, visa services, anything. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, in the professional language, it's a corporate travel. So we are serving a lot of companies for their travel needs. It can be Polish, German, English, you name it. Plus, we are also serving the Indian community, you know, because when they're going back home, they want any good deals. So our staff is trying to do their best mm-hmm. to give that. What is the biggest cultural difference that you felt uh, when you came from India to Poland? The biggest cultural difference, according to you? In India, uh, back home, you know, we are very habitual of having our way of working. That means, you know, of course, the things are changing yeah. from last 20 years when I'm here in Poland. But still, you know, uh, keeping the time appointments, you know, for the meetings, uh, doing the proper preparation of the paperwork and everything. We still lack that in our small and medium businesses uh, back home in India. But in Poland, in Europe, generally, things were very much sorted out, you know. Of course, if you have a nine o'clock appointment, that means it's nine. So you have to be five minutes before. You start at nine. It's not like that you're coming at nine, five, nine, ten, and then extend it. So that's, in a business way, it was... I would say not a shock because back home in India also, I was at least trying to keep my, you know, timings right and keep the uh, meetings on time. Uh, in the, I would say in the personal life, uh, if you see the normal way of life in Poland, uh, you know, how, how you behave, uh, you know, uh, with the second person, you know. In India, we have a different kind of approach, which uh, I think we don't, in my opinion, sometimes we, we, we fail to respect the yeah. second person. But in, in this part of the world, it's like, you know, although you have an argument, but be respectful yeah. towards the second person. Yeah. 
So these are the things, you know, which are maybe small, but that that makes a lot of difference how you behave in your business, how you cooperate with the people, you know, how you're talking uh, in your private life, uh, you their friends. So it's it's these few things which make a difference. So I think you have to be open. Mm-hmm. One thing which I, in my book, I think what we should do, uh, us Indians, when we are going abroad, it's not only in, in, in Poland, anywhere we are going, we should try to get the exposure to the local culture. Because I, I, I still see, you know, I travel to Canada, I, I travel to US, I see, you know, we, 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 we are inclined to make our groups, which is fine, because you should have your own community keep abroad together, you know. But you should let the other people also in. You should try to learn their way of life also and get exposed. Because I think that's the biggest thing when you can really, you know, uh, get in touch with the local community and the dialogue is different. Yeah, that I, I totally agree to that, sir. Because there was back in school, we learned like, you know, behave like Roman when you are in Rome. You started IPCCI. How was your journey starting that and how is the growth so far? You know, I mean, uh, this whole idea came out, uh, you know, after staying in uh, Poland for a couple of years. That was way back in 2006 when we saw that there is a need of an organization uh, which will help the business on the both sides. And I personally, I feel it, you know, as my kind of a brick in building up the relation uh, between India and Poland because, uh, you know, you, you are actually a kind of a patriot for both the countries, you know. So you find the ways how you can make the bridge. So that was the whole idea. And then I got a couple of uh, Indian uh, entrepreneurs with me. So when we started, they were mostly the small and medium companies. Most of the people who have started their businesses here in uh, Poland and uh, the Polish companies who were looking for the market or they were already having something. So that was a journey way back in 2006. And I think we have done fairly well because after so many years, IPCCI is a force uh, in Poland and in India. We are recognized uh, by the, both the governments. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have taken the number of delegations uh, to India, plus we have entertained a lot of delegations from India doing the roadshow for them in Poland. So I think we have uh, done our bit and uh, you know people are still mm, coming to IPCCI for various you know help advices. We are also looking for the possibilities of expanded into the more other sectors of the life, I would say, in this way, which are related, uh, uh, you know, to the sustainable life, uh, women, children. So you will be looking a lot of things coming up by the end of this year. Sir, all it says that you have to ask you, Punjabi women is a very cute thing. Like, I'm in Punjabi women, I'm in Punjabi women, I'm in Punjabi women, I'm in Punjabi women, I'm in Happy, Puppy, 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 इतने सालों से आप यहाँ हो अपने देश को छोड़ के यू मिस पंजाब I mean, आप दिल्ली से हो रहे मैं दिल्ली से होने ऑफ कोर्स है ना अपने देश को हमेशा हर कोई मिस करता है और अपने देश की वैल्यू तभी पता चलती है जब कोई बाहर है जब देश पे रहता है तो वैल्यू पता नहीं चलती लेकिन मेरे ख्याल से उसके लिए काफ़ी सारे लोगों के साथ मिल जो हमने सब यहाँ पे क्रिएट किया है आई पी सी सी आई गुरुद्वारा और बाकी एसोसिएशन जो यहाँ पे बन रही हैं पोलैंड के अंदर जो डिफरेंट डिफरेंट स्टेट्स हैं वो एक फीलिंग देती है कि अपना छोटा सा इंडिया यहाँ पर है सो दैट एटलीस्ट फील दैट यू नो वाइक बट ऑफ कोर्स यू नो यू यू ऑलवेज मिस दैट दैट इट कैन बो दैट आफ्टर लिविंग इन अ कंट्री फॉर थर्टी ईयर्स यू फॉरगेट अबाउट इंडिया एंड इसके ऊपर मैं एक और बात कहना चाहता हूँ सबको कि तीस साल पोलैंड में रहने के बावजूद मेरे पास आज तक मेरा हिंदुस्तानी पासपोर्ट है तो दिस शोज दैट आई वैल्यू माई कंट्री I value the values uh, which have been given to me by my family, by my teachers, and uh, by my country. So this is this remains this remains. Yes. But इसके अंदर मैं एक और बात कहना चाहता हूँ, जो मेरे दोस्त लोग हैं, जिनके पास पोलिश पासपोर्ट है, please बुरा मत मानिएगा। मैं तो कुछ गलत भी बोलना चाहता था। ये मेरा कहने के साथ है, वो मेरे लिए है। 
नहीं वो भी अपनी जगह सही है आप भी अपनी जगह सही वो कोई गलत नहीं है अंटिल इंटेंशन एक पॉजिटिव हो और अच्छा हो सर जैसे मुझे पता है कि यू आर द चीफ एग्जीक्यूटिव ऑफिसर विथ गुरुद्वारा सिख सभा वॉर सो तो वॉट आर द एक्टिविटीज दैट यू पार्टिसिपेट इन गुरुद्वारा इस्टेब्लिश हुआ था दो हज़ार चार में एंड दो हज़ार आठ में रजिस्टर्ड प्रॉपर एज अ रिलीजियस बॉडी जो एक्टिविटीज गुरुद्वारे की हैं दैट इज़ लाइक गुरुद्वारा नो वी आव हमारे यहाँ पे जो दो ग्रंथी हैं जैसे पंजाब के अंदर कहीं भी इंडिया के अंदर वो मतलब कि फुल टाइम उनका जॉब है जो गुरुद्वारा बोरसा का है वो इसलिए डिफरेंट है जो बाकी गुरुद्वारे आपके यूरोप में हैं मैं यूके की बात नहीं कर रहा हूँ तो यूरोप में है कि यहाँ पे ग्रंथी सारा टाइम है तो मेरा काम जो सा है मोस्टली एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन का है क्योंकि तो रिलीजस के लिए हमारे पास ग्रंथी जी हैं तो जितना भी आपका समझ लीजिए मैनेजमेंट का है जो मेरे साथ कमेटी मेम्बर बाकी तीन और हैं उनके साथ मिल फाइनेंस का जो सा है जो हर रोज़ का काम होता है गुरुद्वारे के अंदर जो भी टेक्निकल चीज़ों की ज़रूरत होती है तो मतलब कि मेरा काम ये होता है कि मैं हर रोज़ दिन में एक बारी शाम को एटलीस्ट हमेशा गुरुद्वारा जाता हूँ ये देखते हुए भी ठीक है आज क्या हुआ क्या चीज़ है कमी पेशी है क्या चीज़ चाहिए तो उसको अरेंजमेंट करने के लिए नेक्स्ट डे के लिए आप करमा में मानते मैं बिल्कुल करमा में मानता हूँ क्योंकि आप जो भी जैसे भी करते हैं ज़िंदगी में दूसरे की तरफ दूसरे के साथ वो हमेशा आपके सामने वापस आएगा ऑफ कोर्स जैसे हम लोग जानते हैं नो वरीज परफेक्ट आई एम नॉट सिंग आई एम परफेक्ट मैं हमेशा इस चीज़ को मानता हूँ अगर मेरे साथ कुछ बुरा हो रहा है अपने साथ तो उसका पक्की बात है मेरे कर्मों का फल है मैंने कुछ किया था उसका मेरे को फन आज मिल गया और अगर कर्मा की बात करनी है आप तो इसके अंदर जो कर्म जैसे मैं सर्विस इंडस्ट्री में हूँ और आई पी सी सी आई और सब चीज़ें करके तो मेरे ख्याल से हमारा एक और कर्मा जैसे हम कहते हैं हमारी हमने क्या कमाया तो मेरे लिए अगर मैं इंग्लिश में उसको ट्रांसलेट करूँ जो मेरी कमाई जो मेरी नेटवर्थ है वो बना नेटवर्क है उसका मतलब ये है कि जिन लोगों से मिला मैं मेरी ज़िंदगी में और जैसे मैं उनके साथ बिहेव किया हूँ मेरे को इस चीज़ का करूर है कि अगर मैं उनके पास वापस जाऊंगा किसी भी चीज़ के लिए खाली अपने लिए नहीं एक मदद किसी और अपने हिंदुस्तानी पोलिश भाई के लिए मांगने मदद तो हम हमेशा करेंगे तो ये भी आपका कर्मा है अगर मैंने वो चीज़ें ठीक नहीं की होती उन लोगों के साथ तो आज मैं किसी मुँह के साथ उनसे बात नहीं कर सकती तो ये सब मिक्स है जब आप यंग होते हो उन चीज़ों पर थोड़ा कम ध्यान देते हो लेकिन हमेशा के पे पीछे एज दे सी इन इंग्लिश बैक ऑफ योर हेड होता है लेकिन मेरे ख्याल से चीज़ें हमेशा याद रखनी चाहिए क्योंकि ये चीज़ें हैं हमारे हिंदुस्तानियों में जो हमारी वैल्यूज हैं हमारे कर्म और अगर हम इस चीज़ को रोज सोचें तो अगर हमारे सामने कोई ऐसी सिचुएशन भी आती है जब हम दूसरे आदमी से हमारा कुछ बात नहीं बन रही अगर फिर भी हम उससे मतलब ढंग से बात करें तो मेरे ख्याल से हमेशा पॉसिबिलिटी है कि अगर आपके कोई भी इशूज हैं आप इसको ओवरकम कर सकें पेशेंस और थोड़ा दूसरे आदमी को समझना हमेशा अपनी मत देखिए आप उसकी पोजीशन भी समझिए अगर वो ऐसे बोल रहा है क्यों बोल रहा है हो सकता है आपने कुछ किया ना यहाँ से हार्ड वर्क इज अ कोर ऑफ इट वैल्यूज इज अ कोर ऑफ इट यू हैव टू बी फेयर इफ यू वॉन्ट कीपर टू बी फेयर टू वर्ड यू यू हैव टू बी फेयर टू वर्ड्स अगर आप ये चीज़ें रखेंगे यू नो यू माइट फील एट सम स्टेज सम डिफिकल्टीज लेकिन एंड रिजल्ट जो सा है ना वो पॉजिटिव कि लाइफ के अंदर मिनिमम इज इनफ मैंने ख्याल से कोविड ने आप सबको सिखा सिखा दिए सर ये शॉपिंग करना ये मर्चेंडाइजिंग कमर्शियल मैं ही नहीं कहना कि आपको नहीं करना चाहिए बट दैट एज शोर डज ओके इट्स एन लिमिट वॉट यू नीड टू बी हैप्पी वॉट यू नीड टू बी हेल्थी अगर हम लोग सारा टाइम खुश रहेंगे हंसते रहेंगे तो उसका भी मज़ा खत्म हो जाएगा तो लाइफ के अंदर आपका डाउन आने चाहिए क्योंकि तो इससे हम कुछ सीखते हैं आगे चलते हैं उसके बाद जो डाउन के बाद जो खुशी होती है हाँ वो सबसे अच्छी सबसे अच्छी होती है दिन वो वो जो हैप्पीनेस होता है वो ये हैप्पीनेस ही आता है सर लाइफ में आपने अब तक आई मीन 
It's your journey is a long journey, and like long life journey. Oh, I never do. I'm that old, okay? Then what successes have you achieved and what are the failures? Because you said that when the person is not born, the feeling of the feeling is different. The feeling of the feeling is different. So how did that happen in your life? Look, if you talk about success, look, success is a big thing. You have a big company. You have a big family. You have a big health. You have a big health. You have a big health. آپ کا ایک لنچ ٹائل ہے اس سے مانتے ہیں آپ ہم لوگ مانتے ہیں اس چیز کو سکسس لیکن میرے لیے سکسس کچھ اور ہے کیونکہ یہ سب چیزیں اچیو کرنے کے بعد جو میرے لیے ابھی سکسس ہے وہ سب سے بڑی ہوگی سکسس جو میں ابھی ویٹ کر رہا ہوں وہ ہوگی کیونکہ ہم لوگ ابھی نئی گردوارے کی بیلڈنگ ویٹ کر رہے ہیں تو میرے لیے فرسن ہی ایک ایڈمنسٹریٹر سارے کمیونٹی اور کمیونٹی کے ساتھ وہ سب سے بڑی سکسس ہوگی جب وہ بیلڈی کمپلیٹ ہو جائے تو that is try to come failures normally میں failures پہ دیکھتا ہوں اس کے learn کرنے کے لیے لیکن failures ہوا ہے and I will not say کہ failures already کوئی business deal یا کچھ گھاٹا جیسے ہو گیا جو normal ہے وہ ہے میرے کو زندگی میں بس بسے ہنیشہ ہوتا ہے لیکن میں کہا سے جو سب سے بڑا failure میں and again being very candid is جو میں نے کچھ ٹائم پہلے بولا تھا being in the rat race وہ ایک time تھا زندگی کا میرا جب میں وہ quality time بچوں کو نہیں دے پائے اگر اگر آج آپ میرے سے پوچھیں کہ جو میری بچے ہیں ان کا وہ time جب وہ پانچ تین دو چار سال کے تھے میرے کو یاد نہیں کیونکہ میں اس time میں کافی travel کرتا تھا کافی business meeting تھی so that I see as a failure آپ کی طرف سے سر Any advice for any foreigner expats who are choosing Poland uh, as a country to start their business? Anything you want to tell them? First, you should know about the country, the culture, the economy. Second, respect the culture. Try to change the culture to understand the culture. Don't think that what you were doing is what you were doing here. Okay? Understand the others and the other people. And most important, میرے خیال سے وہ سب کے لیے ہمارے سب انٹینس کے لیے جو باہر جاتے ہیں Think yourself as an ambassador of your country The way you behave as a single individual How you behave towards our other person That will be the identity of your country Language سیکھنے ہی کوشش کیجئے کیونکہ اس دیش کے اندر اگر آپ کو فورش نہیں آتی ہے Can be a challenge ابھی کافی کمپنیز ہیں جہاں پہ انگلیس چلتی ہے لیکن اگر جو میں نے پہرے بولا تھا اگر آپ نے کلچر میں مکس ہونا ہے اگر آپ نے کلچر کو سمجھنا ہے تو بھاشا جونسی ہے وہ بہت امپورٹنٹ تو یہ کچھ چیزیں جونسی ہیں کہ اپنے آپ کو اپنا مائنڈ کھلا رکھئے ایجاب کیجئے نئی چیزوں کو don't close yourself I think this is the biggest thing one should have as a value in their own self اگر آپ نے آپ کو سکسید کرنا ہے لائف کے اندر باقی دیکھئے وہ تار چمال چلتا رہتا ہے چلتا رہتا ہے so what is the next future that you see for Poland Personally, I see Poland will grow more. Today, the economy of Poland is growing, even though you know we have all the problems that we are having around us. Investments are coming in. It's it's a strong nation. If you see NATO in the Central Europe or in Europe, Poland has also become quite strong military and economy-wise also. So I think overall, Poland's future is bright. So if there are also Indian companies, they should think Poland as a gateway for the investments in Europe. Poland के अंदर भाई ये नहीं बोलूँगा यहाँ पे cheap है. Nothing is cheap right now anyway. लेकिन जो workforce यहाँ पे available है, type of जो उसे education यहाँ पे है, it's of the high value. So Indian companies should think using Poland as a gateway. And I personally see that Poland will grow in next five ten years for sure. That's the story of Mr. J.J. Singh, his life journey from India to Poland. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you very much and uh, thank you very much, Poland Talks, for hosting me. Uh, it's an honor and pleasure and I wish you all the best in the future. So you have good interviews and let our Indian and the Polish community learn more 
from Poland Talks. Thank you.